It's about helping our men understand why they are where they are um, and then helping them work through the issues, the good things and the bad things that have made them what they are. Um, so often, you know, I'll talk to men who are angry, they won't even know why they're angry. They'll, they'll realise that they've been through some childhood traumas, that they've been exposed to lots of things that we now know causes anger and frustration and depression and a lot of other things. And, um, but they won't make the connection. Um, so some of healing is just about helping men to reflect on where they've come from and um, why they feel like they feel and then helping them, supporting them, to be able to do something about that themselves. I think it's essential that men are encouraged to talk about their own, their own traumatic episodes in their lives. Again, I think like our lads have been lost for a long time um, and they've, we've lost our way and, and we're um, happy to admit that, you know, but it's time for us now to be able to um, regain our place, if you like, in society. For a long time I've been working in men's health and for a couple of really specific reasons. When I first started out in Aboriginal health as a doctor, um, I kind of tried to look at what the solutions were for a whole lot of the issues and to be honest, a lot of the solutions lay with our men and if we don't address the men's issues we're kind of not going to get very far with closing the gap. So it's, it's restoring all of that back again and, uh, and that man is part of that. It's not, it's not just about a yeah, man's movement, no, it's, it's about the families, the clans and the kinship. I think you get that right. You know, uh, an elder one said that today nations crumble because families crumble. So if you want to build a nation, start building families. Uh, there is a way to embed this in Commonwealth and state ter um, strategies. Um, it requires, though, um, uh, governments and their agents to trust us to know uh, how to actually um, work with our people and how to, um, if you like, develop and frame solutions Cultural law is about education. It's about prevention. It's about preparing and building young, strong young men, strong young women. Uh, I once came across a saying that it's easier to build a young man than to try and put together someone that has been broken. But for just men, um, there's not a lot of services at all. Um, and as we know, the more remote you get, um, and although that's not a hard and fast rule, but generally the more remote you get, the more harder it is to access services anyway. Um, and then, as well as that, having culturally specific services so that men feel safe to be able to access services, that they're gender specific, that they have males working in the clinics, um, or the services that are servicing them. And um, so those kind of things are big access issues, but generally we've never actually funded any big men's health programs or services in Australia in the last 20 years or before that. Um, we need the support of our women and kids and whole communities. So it's, it's the, the healing process starts when we're able to start having a yarn about um, what our issues and concerns are. So that um, it, it can't start before then because if we're keeping it bottled up or we're, we're just lashing out or you know something like that, it can't start. So our healing needs to start after we start to be able to talk about our concerns and issues.